That's nothing new for you, is it? Mm. No, that's true. Mm. I wanted to talk about, uh, look, looking back, what, what are some of your best live memories, your best touring memories, or something like that? How much time you got? <laughs> if you can condense, because I know that there's yeah, got to the be a time. The strange thing is, people often ask that, and you were asking about the early days, and to a large extent, the early days have sort of disappeared into a blur of dates and faces and places. That you can't sort of pinpoint any one thing. And there's lots of good times and there's lots of bad times. It's one of those things, you know, mm -hmm. because who remembers the 60s? Well, you know, who remembers the 70s? You know, it's... Uh, Recent things, I suppose, come to mind. Verona, for example, we played Verona last year. An open-air Roman Colosseum, 2,000 years old, full of people, full moon. And you could see people silhouetted, silhouetted, standing up on the, the columns mm -hmm. and stuff. That was just a magic atmosphere. That's rock and roll, and I couldn't believe that that many people would come to a place like that for a rock and roll concert, but you know, that happened. Yeah. If I go way back, I think the, forgetting the first ever tour that Purple did, which was the lineup before this one, uh, when we toured here with uh, Rod Stewart and the Faces, that was very exciting because we were in a, a nothing to lose situation. We were second on the bill to a, an act that was filling everywhere we went and we did like 45 minutes of the hottest stuff we could find. And it gave them a very hard, hard act to follow, and it set us up in America again after the, that sort of three-year period where there was no product coming out, coming out. And I remember that as being a very exciting tour. Yeah, very simple in those days, so real easy, you know. I heard the story, someone said to Rod Stewart one, one evening, and said, uh, you checked out the band that's opening for you? And he went, no. Check them out. They're going down about twice as good as you are. <laughs> yeah, and we were as well because we had, we were just all out to do it. We just loved it. What, what is saying? It's another question. It's that kind of guy. What, what are some of the stranger things or, or, or the most <laughs> interesting things that, that I mean, in, in a twenty years of touring? Yeah, but this is family MTV, surely. Yeah, what do you want? Vomiting? <laughs> <on stage or laughs> this is zips the, coming undone. This, this is the yeah. anything goes MTV. I mean, <coughs> I remember being at the Hyatt House in. Okay, well, go on. <laughs> yeah. So, what was saying? Yeah. To pick any one instance uh, of a great time, a great party, something strange happening, without the atmosphere that created it, you, re you, you retell the story and it doesn't really come out that exciting or that funny. But usually when the, when the crazy nights did happen, I mean, they still do, um, it's generally more than one one band or one set of people involved is we have a situation where three or four or five bands end up in one hotel one night. Well, then you're in for big trouble, you know? Because, I mean, one, one guy decides to stop partying and another one is just starting. And the whole thing overlaps and they do sort of get quite outrageous. Yeah. And that Rod Stewart and the Faces tour. <laughs> the presidential which, suite. Uh, <laughs> well, the ex-presidential Yeah, right. One without a one bed. One night where <coughs> we were staying in different hotels and Rod Stewart announced on stage some party that was happening at our hotel. So, of course, we got back to our hotel and took us for a quiet night, and the place was just surrounded. There were about 4,000 people there. <laughs> Thinking they'd all been personally invited. I used the elevator. I got up to my floor and looked down the corridor, and there were people sitting, I mean, just row up right to the end. Well, know? the people in the elevators just going up and down. They were so tight, they couldn't get in, they couldn't get out. You saw the same faces going up and down all night long. Thanks a lot, Red. So we got them back the next night. We went to their hotel, and... Uh, Through their tour manager. In Rodney, the had, Rodney had the presidential suite. Uh, it wasn't a presidential suite in the morning. And as, as the little blue lights were coming around the corner and the sirens were flashing, we were out down the back door. Oh and there was Rodney going, well, it wasn't me. And we were back at home asleep. Well, it, well, it wasn't. We didn't do that. No, no, no. no. Must have been some friends We've of ours. Done that no. <laughs> Must have been some other band you're thinking about. Not, not guilty, Your Honor. The other deep purple. Yeah, yeah, the club one. Exactly. Yeah. Statue of limitations. I was going to say both.